Hello everyone, it's Charlton. This uh, this is, is absolutely as bad as it gets. It's um, just a horrific, uh, uh, brutal murder of a 16-year-old boy in uh, Washington State. They, he went missing on the 23rd. His name is Benjamin Eastman. That's him pictured there. There's, there's several photographs of him. Uh, and uh, uh, I believe they recovered his body on the 27th. So he was... And there's two persons that have been charged with, with murder. They're pictured right there. They're two brothers, um, Jonathan Adamson and Benito Marquez. I don't know why they have last different last names. I guess they have different fathers. And they uh, reportedly lured him to the woods in the early morning hours of the 23rd to go camping. And um, with the intention, I think it says, with the intention of killing him. Uh, I think they they plan this for some reason. Uh, why is is um, God only knows? And they uh, they they bludgeoned him or beat him to death. They reportedly after they disappeared, he went missing on the twenty third. Then he and the two the two the two murder suspects disappeared. The authorities wanted to speak with them. They eventually caught up with them, and uh, I think the older brother. I believe, you know, uh, admitted to committing the crime and, and gave very, very graphic details of, as to what they did with him. So Jonathan Adamson, 21 years old, and Benito Marquez, the two charged with murder, 16, were charged in Lewis County Superior Court with first-degree murder, first-degree rape, tampering with physical evidence, unlawful disposal of remains, and the death of Benjamin Eastman. Prosecutors decided to charge Marquez as an adult. They both uh, the judge ordered them held on ten million dollars bail. Cell, cell records show the brothers lured Eastman into the woods for a camping trip in the early morning hours of June, June 24th, but they planned to assault him. Adamson, the older brother, allegedly told detectives that once they were in the woods, they proceeded to get Eastman on the ground and assaulted him for 20 to 45 minutes. Adamson said he estimated they kicked Eastman more than a hundred times. And a pathologist agreed with those numbers. Adamson, Adamson also allegedly told detectives they sexually assaulted Eastman with a stick while he was still alive. The brothers then allegedly hit Eastman repeatedly in the head with a rock to make sure he was dead. Then buried him and uh, and bur buried him and burned his clothes, their clothes, and the shovel they used to dig uh, to dig the grave. It, it says they, they began to worry about the burial site uh, would be discovered, so they soon dug him back up and buried him in another place, this time marking the grave with a cross made out of sticks. And I believe um, the authorities were told that this grave on, on the property, and I think that's the property that's a relative of the, one of the brothers, um, was for a pet, and the, the authorities, given the circumstances, thought it was very suspicious. You know, I don't know if they got warrants to, to dig it up, but that's where his body was found, in a very shallow grave. So the two murder suspects faced the entire family in court. Uh, I don't know if that was today uh, or what, but and I know the father placed himself at the front of the court, leaning against the railing, it says, so that they would know he was their, you know, he, it was, he, um, he, was, he was the boy's father. And, uh, you know, it's just absolutely horrible. These are pictures of the, um, that's Benjamin Eastman right there. And his father's pictured here as well. That's one of the murder suspects. That's the older brother, Adamson, I think, again, his, na his name is. And that's the younger brother. And that's uh, Benjamin Eastman's father. And that's uh, Benjamin Eastman. And there's Benjamin and his father together. Um, it's just, uh, just, uh, you know, like it just, it just absolutely makes you, uh, why, you know, like why, 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 why would they do that? Here is, uh, here's an interview with some of the friends in the, in the area. Well, actually before, this is when he was just still kind missing. Kind man loving, like just kind of funny, you know, just a guy that everybody liked. He was always joking. He'd hide something from you if you left your phone out or anything then you'd wonder where it was and he'd be like is this your phone and he'd pull it out of his pocket friends but now that a body has been recovered the friend and his older brother are nowhere to be found he received information that the two of them had left the area now of course they could have gone camping or left the area but we were making it very clear we need to talk to them now deputies insisted 
as of today, there's no concrete connection between Ben's disappearance and the recovered remains. And now the investigation may hinge on what the missing teen's friend and sibling have to say to detectives. See it happening in other places? So those two have been charged with murder. That's the story there, man. Thanks for uh, watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.